Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be Mercury and retrograde messages for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, Mercury went retrograde back on May 29th, but really the shadow period began back in mid-May. Um, it's going to station direct on June 22nd. So this is the most classic of classic of classic Mercury retrogrades. It's in Gemini. And it's all about receiving and channeling. It has scanned and translated, transmuting energy of mind and thought to everyone. Um, it's a snappy multi-mix of details that'll stir up all of your thoughts and all of your synapses. So Mercury retrograde in Gemini is really a time to be weary of signing contracts, getting new jobs, making large purchases. Mercury rules the throat chakra, so we're prone to misinformation, miscommunication, misinterpretations. It also rules short distance travel, so we may see some delays and frustrations there as well. Um, but the house where Mercury falls in your birth chart while it's in retrograde is the area of your life that will be specifically affected. So for example, if it's in your fourth house, home and family matters are going to be at the forefront. Now, this retrograde also comes at kind of a funky time when we're, there's this frenetic energy or a manic spree even out of quarantine life. And so it's going to ask us to be really discerning and protect ourselves. So the skills that we cultivated at high stakes during the pandemic definitely need to be revisited as, you know, things are opening up for us. Okay. And as there are more opportunities to be social and if we're, we're in the Northern hemisphere, it's summer. So it's like getting outside, going out, but still also being cautious. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into this Pisces. As I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some numerology guidance cards for you as an overall sort of energy, and then we'll jump into your reading. All right, Pisces, so we've got adventure. So 55, some of you guys are, I love that blue energy. It's about throat chakra. Some of you guys are going on an adventure. Maybe you're going to be traveling. 55 can be conflict, some change, some frustration, but it can also be instant manifestation. So just make sure when you guys are making travel plans, just build in that little extra time um, to get wherever you're going and try to go with the flow, which you guys are very good at. 41 breaks down to another number five. So you have 555 five, five coming out. That's going to be a, a powerful number sequence for you guys. There's something here about being disciplined, Pisces. You know, so don't fall off that wagon, whatever wagon that is for you. You know, some of you guys, it's about health and wellness. Um, for others of you, um, you know, that you've made some positive strides in your life. Some of you guys have also been saving up for an adventure, for a trip. Um, and you might feel like, you know, maybe, you know, your social life is calling and just to be careful not to do anything in excess at this time. And Pisces, look at that. You get your happy ending. So I love that. Overall energy, personal growth. Nice. So really nice sort of happy, bright cards here. I love that we've got these sort of primary colors going on. Um, let's go ahead and see how this all plays out in your reading. Mm. So... A new adventure awaits, my dear Pisces. So what will this retrograde bring into your life? Okay, we see the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, so beautiful. So some of, and the reason I say this is beautiful because some of my Pisces, you guys have been burning the candle at both ends. Some of you guys may even feel like you were playing with fire. Some of you guys have been working really hard on like getting fit, maybe with your money, maybe doing everything, maybe working two jobs. And the reason I like this nine of wands in reverse is because I feel like you're taking some time out for yourselves. Okay, where you haven't in the past, it may even be self-discipline is hard for you to, you know, stop doing what you're doing. And remember, Mercury retrograde is about, you know, it's not about go, go, go. It's not about being results oriented. It's about pulling back and reflecting. So I see my beautiful Pisces. I like this nine of wands in reverse because it's about letting your defenses down, allowing yourself some break time, maybe taking a vacation, maybe just sort of, you know what, I'm not going to work uh, overtime today. I'm going to take the afternoon to enjoy the sun or go out with my family or go out with my friends. So I really like this energy. 
What's being transformed for you guys is the Five of Swords. So you're coming out of conflict. So any sort of conflict you are experiencing, Pisces, you're healing. Um, and the Four of Swords in reverse takes me to that Four, sorry, the Five of Swords in reverse takes me back to the Four of Swords, which is about rest, getting a lot of sleep. We have Jupiter in your sign and Pisces rules sleep. So many of you guys, you're resting more. You're taking that extra time for yourself to make yourself feel good, making sure you're drinking and eating, you know, drinking water and eating properly. And it's definitely, I feel like there's this happy energy. It's, I'm, they're showing me a plant that was kind of drooping. When you water this plant, whoo, you know, it immediately, it just sort of like perks up. So I love that energy for you. So you, um, what you're being asked to do here with the two of wands, um, two of wands is about preparation. It's about making us making a decision, but it's not about movement. So remember with mercury retrograde, just go over all of your details. There may be some difficulties with travel plans, delays and frustrations and that sort of thing. But the two of wands here is about just looking at all the details. Um, you're making some important decisions, so make sure you're coming from a place of balance as you do that. So I was going to tell you Virgo energy was coming out strong and when I was shuffling the cards and I was like, no, nah, don't say it. <laughs> but here's the hermit, so Virgo energy. So the lessons that you're learning, Pisces, you're learning to trust your instincts. You're learning to trust your inner guidance. You've learned some tough lessons and they might have to do with overworking or overgiving or even playing with fire. Okay. That might be what led to some of this drama. Okay. Maybe even loss. But what I'm seeing here is that you're going within, you're taking some time for yourself. Some of you guys are heading to the beach. Others of you, you're heading to the mountains, but this is a much needed break. All right. So we see the devil energy, Pisces. What have you guys been up to? So part of your past that you have to reflect on Capricorn energy. So Virgo and Capricorn coming through really strong. You may be dealing with those signs or you might have them in your chart. But what I'm seeing here, Pisces, is you're looking at anything you might be doing in excess. So some of you guys are um, you're working too much. You may be workaholics. Um, some of you guys, it may be a karmic relationship that just needed to go. That was bringing a lot of stress and drama into your life. Some of you guys, you may have been, you know, doing a lot of dating and working and doing a side hustle and taking care of your family and just sort of like had too much on your plate. I think you're really taking a look at what's best for you at this point in time. And you get the seven of cups. This is your energy. You have a lot of choices to make. And that's why spirit's saying you need to be in a healthy, balanced, and centered and loving place to make the best choices for you. I love that energy because this is you getting a lot of blessings and abundance. But if you're in this scattered frenetic energy, Pisces, you won't be able to make the best choices for you and yours. Okay. So the three of pentacles, some of you guys, this is about working something out. You, this definitely could be in career. You have karmic justice, more Libran energy coming through or Libran energy coming through. Some of you guys, you may feel like there was a, um, a missed opportunity, but I feel like whatever this missed opportunity was, it was spiritual intervention, divine intervention, because it was creating too much stress in your life. Okay. So just understand that, that you will be getting some sort of resolution. You will be coming out of conflict. So that's going to mean different things for all of you. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what that exactly means. All right. So there you do have your happy ending Pisces. I love that. All right. So um, yeah. All right. So Pisces, you may have walked away from someone. Somebody may have walked away from you. Um, it doesn't even have to be a relationship. It could be you walking away from the devil, right? That which no longer serves you, that which is causing you stress, drama. Some of you guys, you know, you may be, you know, and they're telling me, you know, there, there's a difference between determination and stubbornness. And I think you drew the line and you said, okay, now I'm just being stubborn because this is causing drama. This is creating more pain than, 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 uh, than good. This is, this is creating more stress than peace. And so I really see that you're taking a look at anything that you've been doing in excess, overthinking, drinking, spending, working, exercising. And I feel like you're really, you're walking away from a situation that maybe you gave your all to that you realize now it was starting to take from you. Okay. The five of swords and the ace of swords. So there may be somebody that you're dealing with that you're not in communication with. Um, you may have really wanted to reconcile with this person or with this situation. You know, maybe it was that you really felt like you wanted to do it all, but I think you're coming to terms with what is best for you and what you can actually do and what you can do well. And you're really, really strategizing 
okay? So what I'm seeing here is, you know, there may be there may be that there was some sort of miscommunication with this Ace of Swords with someone or a group of people or your boss or, you know, a love relationship. That may be resolved. Now remember with Mercury retrograde, we get a lot of people and situations that come back into our lives for healing or enclosure and for some of us it's rekindling. All right, but with the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords together, we get Six Swords. So I see you really being able to move on from a situation that may have been holding you back or an action or a person. All right, so how can you minimize the damage and the negative results or you know, what can you do here? Oh, Pisces, look at that. You get the uh, your energy, the King of Cups, and you get the Five of Swords. So I'm getting this real strong energy of compassion coming through, okay? I think that there's a lot of love between you and somebody, okay? But again, there was too much drama, okay? There may have been, you, may have, you might have had a choice in love, Pisces, or maybe you were dealing with somebody that had a choice in love. So I feel like it's really important that you have a healthy balance of head over heart, trusting your intuition, but acting out of a place of love being compassionate, which is love and action, being compassionate for yourself and for anybody else involved in this connection or this situation. Because not all of you is it gonna be love. Some of you, it's like work. Some of it's, you know, maybe you were helping out a family business or a family member, you know, and, you know, taking care of your family and working and this and that, you know, so it's gonna be different for all of you. So I think it's also really taking a good hard look at what might be causing any sort of drama or conflict in your life? What is it you're truly fighting for? What is your end game? What results do you want? Because oftentimes we get that perspective and we're like, why am I doing this? Why am I fighting so hard for this? You know, it doesn't give back to me or, you know, it's no longer in alignment with me. So we had this beautiful one come out flying out of the out of the deck the queen of swords so some of you guys you could be dealing with an air sign this can also be an ex-partner for me it can also be a boss but the hermit card clarified by the queen of swords this is telling me that you're learning what is and isn't in alignment with you Okay, and you had to go within and maybe even spend some time on your own to do that. But we see this butterfly there in her crown chakra. So it's an activation. It's an inner knowing. Um, and, you know, maybe some of you guys are going to decide that for now you need to be on your own. Okay, and or do you just need to take like a day or two um, to figure things out, to see things clearly? Um, I like the Queen of Swords because she's about loyalty. She's about truth. She's about justice. All right, and I see that, um, you know, you coming into alignment with, with you, with your higher self, with your soul's purpose. This is essential right now, and you're doing the work. You are doing the work. So what you need to reflect on in your past, we have the devil energy and the seven of wands, okay? So the seven of wands is about rising above your difficulties, and we see that with self-discipline. Now, for some of you, this could be what you eat and drink. It could be, you know, it could be um, alcohol. It could be anything, right? But I'm seeing that it's going to take a lot of self-discipline because there's some sort of temptation. It may be a temptation to go back to old ways. It may be a temptation to, you know, go back to a particular person that you know doesn't give to you or give you what you need or isn't in alignment with you, okay? So just be aware of that. And also just be really aware of everything that you've worked so hard to achieve to get you where you are at this point in time. So the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Wands. So this is beautiful energy. This is outcome energy. So for some of you guys, you know, there may have been a choice in love. And I feel like if that's the case, you're choosing you. You're choosing what's most in alignment with you. The Queen of Wands is a master manifester. She attracts people and situations. I'm seeing you getting a lot of attention, Pisces. But I feel like you're coming from this place, whether this is at work, whether this is in love, whether it's in your business, because some of you guys, you know, she's an influencer. She's somebody who's in the spotlight. Male or female doesn't matter. Um, but she's somebody who's attracting a lot of abundance. And you truly, truly deserve this. But the question is choosing what's best for you. And I feel like everything you've been through is giving you that knowledge, giving you that strength, that courage to do just that. And you deserve it all. You really, truly do. 
So we get the Princess of Swords. So some of you guys are going to be receiving some sort of communication. It may be from somebody or something that, you know, that rejected you in the past. For some of you, it might be a job or, you know, you tried out for a part in a play or in a movie. Okay. And it's, it's going to be some sort of communication that's going to be very healing. It's going to allow you to move on. And it's also going to open up all of these other options for you. So many more blessings because you might have realized Pisces that whatever the situation was or is that it was keeping you small. Okay. And that queen of wands, she is not going to be kept small. She knows she has choices. You know, she can choose whatever she wants. And that's, that's a beautiful power there. So let's go ahead and see um, what other messages come out for you. All right, so you get seduction. So for some of you, it may have been a choice between an air sign and a fire sign. Um, gender isn't uh, isn't important in these readings. So attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party influence. Okay. Now some of you guys with this devil energy, um, you know, I am getting. I am getting that you know there's some sort of temptation to go back to the past, and again that can have to do with maybe somebody that was a player, okay? Or maybe it was you have the, you know, like maybe there's something within you that you kind of want to go back to. It could also be negative patterns of thinking or behaving because I feel like you guys have worked really hard. You've been in this self-discipline energy um, to change something in your life and that could be anything. And there's some sort of temptation that may be coming back around, Mercury retrograde. Wow, some of you guys, you're dealing with the twin flame. So, um, yeah, you're dealing with somebody that perfectly compliments you. As you know, twin flame journeys are quite difficult um, at times. They don't always have to be, and we don't have to project that they always will be. Um, but this could be, you know, this can play out in a lot of different ways. But what I'm seeing here more than anything, Pisces, it's about bringing yourself into balance, whatever this decision might be. If you're on a twin flame journey or not, you know, maybe this is in your career, but this is about you being in that place of balance to make the best decision for you. And then we get the butterfly. So relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Okay, interesting. So some of you guys, this Queen of Swords could go back to you reflecting on your original love language, how you learned to love with your parents, um, you know, with or your guardians or what have you, or just looking at those past relationships. Um, but for some of you guys, um, there is something developing for you. Um, but it takes you healing and closing out this previous situation, whether it was between you and them or not. Okay, or if it was between you and another person. All right, Pisces, so let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards for you and see what's going on here. I do feel that there could be, you could be dealing with a twin flame and you could be dealing with a karmic. So again, it's about making the best choice for you, Pisces. I don't see it being an easy choice, but I also feel like with the Five of Swords, it's about really trusting that inner guidance. So somebody here wants to come out of the cold, Pisces, whether it's you or whether it's a person um, or somebody you're dealing with. Of course, it's a person, <laughs> unless maybe some of you are maybe adopting, you know, a, a dog or something. But what I'm seeing here with the with the orphan card in reverse is you may have been feeling quite lonely during this separation. If you're in separation or maybe somebody who's feeling quite lonely is coming back with some sort of communication for you. And we get yang, divine masculine energy. So there's definitely a new beginning. With this queen of wands energy too, what I'm getting is that, um, you know, is that is that you are attracting this. Okay, there's going to be, this is some sort of, especially if you're dealing with a twin flame here, this is something that's inevitable that you may not be able to keep away from each other. Okay, and that's just something to be aware of. And we get TikTok. So I feel like for some of you, the platform TikTok is important. Um, but for others of you, it's about divine timing at work here. Some of you guys, you might have a past person coming in and you've moved on to a new person or you're exploring your options or you want to. Okay. And so again, that might feel a little bit funky for you, but spirit wants you to know if you choose from a place of balance and love, you will not make the wrong choice. And if you choose you Pisces, you can't make the wrong choice. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what final messages come through for you guys. And we get hope. Beautiful. 
love is yours recognize your divine worth and choosing loving thoughts so yeah many of you guys there's some sort of love partnership whether it's with somebody new or if it's with a or, or if it's a rekindling this is your happy ending you're recognizing your worth what you deserve and that's why you're cutting out any sort of toxicity any sort of behavior that just doesn't work for you you fought hard for this and it's like don't give up now because i do feel like there may be a past person that comes in to tempt you um, but I, I do, I do feel like for many of you, if it's a past person or behavior, if you are seduced by it, like you're not going to be happy in the long run. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So it's up to you to decide, is that your twin or is that a karmic or is that, you know, some of you guys have given up smoking and it's like a stressful period and you're like, well, if I just have one, you know, or whatever it might be, it can be so many different things for you guys. But again, choose you Pisces, choose with your heart and that you get your happy ending. All right, let's go ahead. Oop, so we get flowers. So flowers will brighten up your space and create a fairy friendly place. Okay. And then we get rose quartz crystal. This is love, Pisces. My goodness. Many of you guys, you're doing a strong heart healing chakra. Some of you guys, your divine masculine is coming in. If you're in separation, you're a twin flame journey and you're divine masculine and you have been separated, they're coming back in. Soothing and warm like love that flows. Once under your pillow, your magic grows. All right. So I've got, I've got a couple pieces of rose quartz out here. But for those of you that aren't so sure, here we have rose quartz. Beautiful, beautiful heart healing stone. Love and compassion, Pisces. Nice. Um, for others of you, you're attracting, you know, you may be, if you're, if you identify as the divine masculine, you're calling in your divine feminine. Okay. And we get support. There's always help around when you ask, it can be found. So do ask your angels and guides for support and guidance at this time, especially if you're having difficulties making a choice. This is a very important choice for you, Pisces. We see that with the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is another nod to those of you on a twin flame journey. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.